PFP community, happy Tuesday. It's so nice out today that we decided we're gonna do Facebook Live out here. And I'm lying a little bit, I'm sweating, and I had to put shades on because I was squinting, I couldn't see you, but I really do wanna share an important message with you today. More so a message that you can relay to your kids. It's the story of Swen Nader. Uh, all of us, as parents, as coaches, we wanna see our kids be more humble, more coachable, and, and to have a vision beyond what's right in front of them because we know that if they have some vision, um, they can see like why it is I'm having to make these sacrifices today, why it is that I'm having to do this thing I really don't wanna do. If we can help our kids have more vision by sharing the story of Swen Nader, they're gonna be better off, they're gonna make better decisions today than impact them tomorrow. Swen Nader was this guy, you probably haven't heard of him because back in the 80s or maybe 70s, John Wooden, the greatest basketball coach of all time, contacted Swen Nader and says to him, he gave him the, the best proposition anybody could ever ask for. He said, Swen, I would like you to come to UCLA and play for me, and you're never gonna start a game in your entire career. Great, I'm in. And the reason why that wasn't great for most people, see, most people wouldn't have had vision because Swen Nader was one of the top players in the country coming out of high school. One of the top players in the country, heavily recruited. He could have gone just about anywhere and started, but he humbled himself. He had vision and he knew he was about to go play for the greatest coach in the history of basketball. Oh, and he was gonna be backup to one of the greatest centers to ever play the game, Bill Walton. Now, what happened to Swen Nader? He never started a game in his four-year career, yet he went on after college to play in the ABA, to win championships, to win MVP awards. He was far more successful after college than he would have been had he gone somewhere else and started. At least that's what the prediction would have been. So how does this apply to our kids? I think in so many different ways this applies to our kids. Number one, humility. Humility. I mean, I think that like the, the best version of myself, like the most humble Andrew that I can think of, which isn't where I'm at now, I would have done what Swen Nader did. But I don't know if I would have done that today. But after learning this story, I'm looking for opportunities where I can sacrifice shining today in order to be greater tomorrow, if that makes sense. And maybe that will ring true for your son or daughter. Second thing. Could you imagine being this top player in the country and then having to go and be backup day after day in practice, be like the guy that just gets the other guy ready for the games? And I'm sure that most people in Swen Nader's position, they would have showed up to practice jealous and envious every single day. That person's better than me. Oh, they, they keep getting all the shots. They keep getting all the opportunities. They're better than me. But this is a story of humility because I don't think Swen Nader showed up and he was jealous. He was actually grateful when he showed up every day because he got to play backup to the best center that ever played the game. He had a got to mentality. I get to do this rather than, oh, I have to do this. And that's another great lesson from this incredible story of Swen Nader. Athletes, no matter where you're at today, no matter what's going on, whether you're a backup, whether you're wrestling with the decision, should I go D1 or D3? Don't let the fears and the temptation to do things for other people, rather than doing what you know is right for yourself, don't let those things keep you from making a Swen Nader type decision. Swen Nader had vision, he had humility, and goodness, this guy was extremely coachable, and that's why he was successful. Those are three characteristics that'll make you successful too, athlete. Hope you enjoyed this message. Go research Swen. He needs some love on YouTube. We gotta get the guy's likes up. Maybe go friend him on Facebook. I'm not even sure if he's still around. But no, Swen boy. Nader, you're an inspiration. We love you. Thanks for watching, guys.